Hi students, this is Dr. Vanathi, Consultant Cosmetic Dermatologist. Today, I am going to talk about Melanocyte Biology. Melanocytes are derived from neural crest. The pluripotent stem cell from the neural crest can develop into smooth muscle, glia, neuron, melanocyte, craniofacial bone, cartilage, etc. For the pluripotent cell to develop to melanocyte, it has to be converted into a destined progenitor melanoblast cell. With the help of the factors such as cell signaling factors such as WNT, endothelin factor, C-kit uh, or stem cell factor, steel factor or hepatocyte uh, growth factor, melanocytes are formed. Bone morphogenic factor antagonizes the action of WNT. WNT favors the formation of melanocyte. Bone morphogenic factor antagonizes it. So, for the cells to be formed from the neural crest to migrate to the destined site, WNT has to be activated. During that time, bone morphogenic factor should go down so that the cells reach their destiny. Melanocytes are present in the skin as in the interfollicular epidermis and in the hair follicle bulb region. Other than that, it is also seen in eyes, choroid, ciliary body, iris, in the ear, cochlea, in the brain, in leptomeninges. This melanoblast, when it reaches the skin, in the basal layer, every tenth cell is the melanocyte. One percent of the uh, epidermal cells formed by the melanocyte. This single melanocyte will take care of roughly 36 keratinocytes pigmentation. This is known as epidermal melanin unit. In the hair follicular bulb region, the melanocyte present in that uh, area, it is working along with the hair cycle that means it is very active during the anagen phase and it apoptosis and goes off during catagen phase. The color of a particular individual does not depend upon the number of the melanocyte because everybody has almost a similar number of the melanocyte but the type of the melanin, the activity of the uh, melanocyte the type of the melanin produced determines the color. The people who are near the equatorial region they are given a darker color by producing eumelanin that prevents the damage that can be produced by UV rays. The cellular damage is prevented by the pre presence of eumelanin. The people who are living near the polar region they produce pheomelanin which is yellow in color which gives them lighter color for them to get the advantage of getting the amount of light needed for producing enough vitamin D because over the polar region the sunlight will be lesser so the during the minimal amount of time they are getting that light they need to prepare the needed vitamin D okay uh, let us go to the melanocyte proper <laughs> Melanocyte is a cell which has a tendency to produce a pigment known as melanin. Melanin has to be produced in a membrane bound organelle which is similar to a lysosome. That membrane is known as melanosome. Why melanin is not produced in the cytoplasm? During melanin synthesis, there are melanin intermediates are formed which, is, which can cause oxidative damage to the cell and destroy the melanocyte itself. To prevent that, melanin is produced inside the melanosome. Melanosome uh, has a fibrillar matrix known as PML17 which is a glycoprotein 100 which has a structure similar to amyloid. It is a physiological amyloid. This PML pre-melanocortin 
fibrillar matrix catch hold of the melanin which will not leak the melanin outside the melanosome so that the damage that can be caused to the melanocyte is avoided. This fibrillar matrix is properly arranged in case of U melanosome. In case of few melanosomes, this fibrillar matrix is loosely arranged. Difference between U melanosome and few melanosome. U melanosome is bigger in size, elliptical, and has an organized fibrillar matrix. Few melanosomes smaller in size and they have uh, they are circular in shape they have loose fibrinous matrix and u melanin is formed in u melanosome few melanin is formed in few um, melanosome the melanocyte to produce melanin enzymes are very important for the enzymes to be produced the transcription factors plays a major role. Transcription factors are the one which goes and attach the DNA, alters the set of the genes in order to bring all the things that are needed for the embryonic development and differentiation and their proliferation. The example for these transcription factors are WNT, PAX3, MITF, SOX10 or some of the transcription factors which are important in the development of melanocytes. MITF otherwise known as master gene for melanocyte synthesis. The full form for it is microphthalmia associated transcription factor rather it is a melanocyte inducing transcription factor. Why it is known as master gene? It is the one which is responsible for the synthesis of tyrosinase and other enzymes tyrosinase related peptide 1 to proteokinase C beta. All these enzymes are needed for synthesis of melanin. Physiologically, melanocyte stimulating hormone and ACTH, they go and attach to the melanocortin receptor in the melanocyte. They in turn increase the cyclic AMP level. Thus, that goes and activate MITF. Then, tyrosinase and other enzymes are uh, prepared. Thus, when their cyclic AMP level is in continuously increased in McEwen Albright syndrome that leads on to the more production of pigment, then they develop uh, multiple cafele macules. Melanin is synthesized from phenylalanin. Phenylalanin has to be converted to tyrosine. From tyrosine, the pathway for melanin starts. This pathway is known as raper mason pathway. Tyrosine is converted into dihydroxyphenylalanine, then to dopa, that, that is dopa, from dopa to dopaquinone, from dopaquinone to dihydroxyindole and dopachrome. When it goes to dihydroxyindole and dopachrome, at the end, you will get dark brown or black melanin. When it goes to cystinyl dopa, we get uh, pheomelanin which is yellow in color. The synthesized melanin which are present in the melanosomes has to be transferred to the keratinocyte. This transfer occurs with the help of the microtubules. The microtubules in the dendrites with the help of the systems like kinesin and dynein. Kinesin help in transfer of melanosome having melanin to the uh, keratinocyte in an anterograde manner. Dynein will allow the uh, melanosome to go inside, it will not allow the transfer out. But kinesin will allow the transfer of the melanin outside the uh, melanocyte. This kinesin will attach to the melanosome with the help of myosin 5A and uh, melanophilin and RAP27. All these three aids the movement of the kinesin. Once the melanosome reaches the tip of the dendrites, it has to be transferred to the keratinocyte. The process of transfer of melanin uh, from the melanocyte to the keratinocyte is known as apocopation. There are four ways by which this melanin can be transferred. Either they can be secreted into the intercellular space from which keratinocyte takes up the pigment or 
there can be a fusion of the membrane of the melanosome to the plasma membrane of the melanocyte then the fusion of the membrane of a melanocyte to the keratinocyte then the melanin goes to the keratinocyte or membrane bound vesicles with melanin are shedded outside and it is taken up by the keratinocyte the other method they say cytophagocytosis in which a part of the cell or a total cell can be engulfed here a part of the cell uh, that is the dendritic process of the melanocyte is taken up with the pigment that's how the synthesis of the melanin takes place and it is transferred to the keratinocyte tyrosinase enzyme we have to remember it is a copper dependent enzyme it is formed similar to all other protein which are formed in the endoplasmic reticulum they are packaged in the golgi body again they are taken back to the endoplasmic reticulum and folded then only it works properly if there is a stress to the endoplasmic reticulum this can lead on to unfolded protein response which is a quality control process if the protein is not folded properly it will destroyed by the proteasomes this can happen in albinism if there are a problem with myosin 5a rap 27 or melanophilin that can lead on to grizzly syndrome in vitiligo melanocytes are totally destroyed in phenylketonuria the conversion of phenylalanine to tyrosine does not takes place that's why they have a uh, pigmentary dilution in minkie's kinkie's disease there is a problem with copper transportation so the copper does not reach the tyrosinase enzyme again there is pigment dilution hope you have understood melanization i have not gone very deep into the cellular level i have just taken the major points and described if you want to read more you can read uh, fitzpatrick and bolognia they have given melanization very well thank you for watching my video like share and subscribe for more videos thank you so much